Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on installing um, Python via the Anaconda distribution on a Windows computer um, and how to configure it so that you can use it for the workflows that we've published at TilburgScienceHub.com which will allow you to manage computation intensive projects um, very well. So um, hats to the setup instructions to get the most up-to-date installation instructions and click on Python and then in the current version you go to the Anaconda page and select the most recent version um, for your operating system. Here I'm on Windows and I choose the Python 3.7 distribution and wait for the download to finish. Once the download has finished you can start the installation instructions and you typically do that by using all the default settings except one, namely that you need to add Anaconda to your environment variables automatically. So you agree and you click on just me to make sure that it can also be installed on computers where you don't have admin rights. And it's important to check this first option at Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable and um, then you can sit back and relax. The setup takes a couple of minutes. If you're getting bored as I do, you can click on the details to see where um, the installer currently, what the installer currently is working on. The setup now has been completed and you can continue by clicking on next and um, you can de-check um, these options at the very end. Um, now let's head back to TilburgScienceHub.com to see whether there are any other things that we need to do right now. Um, one thing that we're advised to do is to open our command prompt at, um, uh, by going to the Windows Start menu and typing commands to open it and try to see whether we see Python by typing Python dot dot version and we get back the version number so um, um, that has worked um, I would like to recommend you a couple of things how to open Python what I do is actually I don't open the command prompt but I um, open the anaconda prompt by typing anaconda and um, when I want to open Python, I just type Python um, to directly run code. Um, I think exit. Let's have exited. Um, there are um, two other great things I want to show you. One tool is called Jupyter Notebook. So once you're in Anaconda prompt, just type Jupyter Notebook and select your uh, browser of choice and um, you'll see um, the Jupyter and notebook environment um, popping up which is a great interface to learn Python. We'll be using that um, for some parts of, of TilburgScienceHub.com and related courses. So you could just um, open um, a project folder that you may create, click on new, click on a new Python 3 file and Python essentially um, uh, just opens up um, here and you can start with um, a um, simple statement as print hello world clicking on run and you'll see Python is working. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is um, uh, actually by, by crashing this session of Jupyter Notebook you can just um, press Control C to um, exit it. Another thing that you can do is you can uh, fire up a, a tool called Spider which is a great um, editor to um, edit Python code. Um, so when you're in Anaconda prompt and um, you see this base environment just type spider and um, an awesome editor pops up and um, also this editor sometimes will be used um, uh, for configurations at TilburgScienceHub.com or related courses. Um, so um, let me head back to our installation page. I think we have managed to successfully install Python via the Anaconda distribution. So um, thanks a lot um, for watching um, this tutorial video.